Hello, and welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. My name is Lyman Holton. In this lesson, we're going to talk about American English pronunciation. Consonant blends. Now, a couple videos back, a couple lessons ago, consonant blends were discussed. But we only talked about two-letter consonant blends like uh, B, L, P, R, things like that. Well, there are also consonant blends, we consider them consonant blends, that have three consonants in them that blend their sounds together. Now, as you can see, one of them, there's a U here, that's a bit of an exception. All right, we'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. Consonant blends, looking at three-letter combinations. Three-letter sets, a set, okay? Instead of a pair or two, we have a set of three. And the ones we're looking at, S-C-R. S-C-R, S, S. Here, the C sounds like a K, 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 K. Scr, scr, or cr, 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 yeah. R, R, R. Scr, scratch, scratch. Yeah, the C doesn't, you don't hear a K sound. You barely get the C in there, but sk, k, r, skr, skr, it's there. Scratch, scratch. Now, what is scratch? Well, if maybe you have a, a rash or a mosquito bite on your arm, you're, you're going to, oh, you want to scratch it because it itches, it itches. It irritates you and you scratch it. That's a scratch. One definition of a scratch. If a person's voice is very squeaky and scratchy, we would say it's a scratchy voice, not a clear voice. Scream! Scream! Here we have E-A, sounds like E, M, M. Scream! 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 You go to a horror movie, a scary movie, and you hear women getting chased by a vampire or something, and they're screaming. Ah! Do you scream at movies? Could be embarrassing. We go over here. S-P-L. 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 Together, ash, l, lash, splash, 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 splash. Jump into the water, you spat on top of the water, slap the top of the water, it will splash, right? Don't splash in the bathtub. Your mother will be angry. Splendid, splash, splash. E, M, sounds like N, D, I, D, did, D, id, did. Splendid. That's like saying something is excellent, great, wonderful. It was a splendid dinner. Thank you so much. Something that's very good. S P R. S S P P R R R. Sp 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 Ing Spring. What happens right after winter? Springtime, spring comes, the season of spring. Flowers bloom and birds sing. Spring. We have S P R, spr, spr, spr. What does A Y sound like? A Y. A. Spray. Take away the S P, you have ray. Take away S, you have pray. Perhaps you, you like to pray once or twice a day. Spray. Take a bottle with some liquid in it, maybe you spray your windows and then you wash them to get them clean. SQR. Okay, now U is a verb. Uh, U is a verb. No, it's not a verb. U is a vowel. Alright? We have SQU. Well, wherever you see Q, U is going to follow it. That's English. Okay. Squ and it makes this squ 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 sound. 
S Q U A R A R E here sounds like air. Air. We've got that E, we have the consonant, we've got another vowel A, and the A sounds long. A or square. What's a square? It's a shape. Square. I consider myself to be a bit of a square. How about you? Now this, this isn't a square, it's a rectangle. A square would have four even sides, the same, same lengths, heights. Squeeze, S-Q-U, this might be a little difficult to see down here, I apologize for that. Squeeze, squa, E, E, E sounds like E, you have Z, 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 squeeze. Okay, maybe you like to have lemonade with fresh lemons. So, you take a, a lemon, the fruit, a citrus fruit, you cut it in half, and you squeeze the outside of that half of lemon so the juice goes into a glass. Maybe you mix it in with some water, perhaps a little sweetener, sugar of some kind. You squeeze it. Maybe when you see your, your little sister or your daughter or someone, she's so cute, you just, mm, you want to give her a big squeeze. Squeeze. S T R S T R S T T R R Str 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 Eat Street Str Eat E E Sounds like E here T T Street A street Look out the window You probably see a street with many cars on it It's rush hour Many many cars are on the street a street, a road, a lane, a drive, an avenue, a boulevard. Basically, they're streets. S-T-R, stra, stra, O-N-G. What does O-N-G sound like? Ong, ong. Take off the G, it sounds like on with the G. Ong. Again, you can't see it too good, but this is a G. Okay. Stra, ong. Now, strong means the opposite of weak, right? Someone who's strong, maybe they have oh, big bulging biceps, they can lift heavy things, mm, strong guy or gal, strong. A strong relationship, maybe two people who get along very well, when they have problems, they get over them and their relationship continues because they have a strong relationship, a strong marriage. S-T-R, th-th-th-th, th-th, th-th-th-r, r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-
is silent. The K is silent. All you hear is N, 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 N. For example, we have the word knob. Knob. Take off the K and you have N-O-B, knob. Now that's the sound, not really a word. K-N is the correct spelling, but the K is silent. If you don't pronounce it correctly, you're going to say knob. Turn the door knob, right? That's what a knob is. A knob is something that you turn. On the old television sets, we used to turn a knob instead of click the remote control. Or you had children and they turned the knob for you. They were your remote control. But a doorknob, go to the door, turn it, a knob. Knob, no. K-N-I-F-E. A knife. A knife. A sharp edge on a piece of metal, usually metal, and you cut something. Maybe you cut a piece of string. Maybe you cut some meat when you're eating dinner. You cut with a knife. If you don't say it correctly, cut knife. Could I borrow your knife, please? No, 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 no. Knife. Knitting. Knitting. Many women enjoy knitting, to knit. They like to take two long needles and some yarn, a ball of yarn, and they knit clothing. Perhaps a, a sweater, that's very common. A sweater, a muffler, scarf, a cap to keep you warm in the winter, stocking caps. Knit, knitting. If you say it wrong, knitting. Knit no, no, no. Knitting. Knock. Now we talked about a doorknob. How about when someone comes to your home or your office and they they knock on the door because they want to come in. Okay? So that's knock. They're knocking on your door. Can knock? No, no. Okay, so we covered knob, knife. Knitting and knock. There are many more words. K N E W. New. I knew you were going to say that. Not canoe. Canoe is a type of a boat, a narrow, long boat that you paddle down a river or across the lake. No, no, no. New. I knew you were going to say that. No. N O is no, as in a negative. No, I'm not going to eat that piece of pie. K-N-O-W, no. Now that means I know something. I have knowledge of something, which also knowledge begins with K-N. So keep in mind the K is silent in words that begin with K-N. And that's the end of this. And we're talking about silent consonants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're on the second video regarding silent consonants. The previous video, we talked about K-N, two consonants. K is silent when it comes before N. This one, the topic is in words that have double consonants, double, two, the same two, D-D, M, M, whatever. Only one consonant is pronounced. That sounds pretty simple, right? It is. It really is. But it's something you need to know. Even if it's something simple, if you don't know it, well, it's not so simple, right? So, let's run through this. I picked out four words and there are many, many, many words with double consonants. Now, the piece I'm hitting on is the fact that when you have a double consonant, only one sound is made. Not D and D or E and E. It's not like that, okay? And there are, this double consonant situation is going to come up again in future videos. 
where we're going to be looking at spelling. Okay, what are the rules for using double consonants? They're pretty interesting. But here we go with the sound, the pronunciation. The word communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Now it's got the short I, it sounds like communicate. It's going to come out sounding like communicate, communicate. Double M, so we're not going to say communicate, communicate. Commun communicate. There's no break. The way it's said, the two M's really they just run together, right? Communicate. Communicate. Just like when you get to the N. Communicate. Right? You hear one N. There is only one N. Communicate. Now what's communicate? Communicate is what I'm doing with you right now. I'm talking to you. I'm communicating with you. I could be on a telephone talking with you. I'd be communicating by phone. I could be sending you an email and email. I'd be communicating you that way. Many different ways to communicate. Get your, 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 ex, you express whatever it is you want the other person to know. You're communicating with them. Now, we have the word a letter. A letter. In, it's very common for a T in the center of a word or inside a word to be pronounced with more of a D sound. D. The letter D is in dog. That's the case here. It isn't always that way, but frequently. Okay, so we have D, 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 letter, 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 letter. It's not led der, led der. It's not like that. It's letter. <clears throat> so the T sounds like a D, one D. Now what's a letter? Could be a letter, one letter in the English alphabet. That's a letter. Also, you might write a letter and send it to your friend through the mail, right? A letter. Okay. How about the word middle, 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 one D, not mid, dull, not mid, dull. It's actually difficult to make it sound like it has uh, the sound made twice, right? <clears throat> but it can be confusing. It's confusing. There's two letters, one after two sounds. So middle. What does the middle mean? Well, if we have the beginning here and the end here, right about here would be the middle, right? The middle. Okay, <clears throat> how about the word speed? Now we have E-E. -E. So it's not speed, speed, speed. No, nope. speed, speed. Now, really, if we took out one E here, we'd have a whole new word, and that word would be sped, sped. The long E sound would turn into a short E. So, that, that's the situation here. These other words, would be, they would be nothing. They wouldn't even be the, a, a word, right? They'd just be a misspelled word. But this one, if we took off one E, we'd have sped, which is the past tense for the word speed. Now, what is speed? Well, uh, basically, the, how fast something goes. If you get in your car and you're driving down the road, you're going a uh, speed. <clears throat> now, probably, you're in a country where they use kilometers for measuring speed distance, right? The metric system. Well, in the United States, we use miles. So we might say, going down a highway or a freeway, that we're going 65 miles per hour. Each hour, we've gone 65 miles if we maintain that 65 mile per hour speed. Kilometers, same thing. If you're doing 100 Ks or 100 kilometers on whatever country you're in, it could be uh, somewhere in Korea, it could be the Audubon, 
you're doing 100 Ks, you're doing 100 kilos, you're doing 100 kilometers, 100 clicks an hour, something like that. But that'd be about 60 miles per hour. Anyways, speed, speed. Okay, that is the end of this. We're looking at silent consonants. Silent consonants. We're on number three of the seven videos in this sequence of information about silence consonants. The letters GH are silent when the letter I, I is a vowel, G and H are consonants. When G and H are together, side by side, the letter I is in front of them. <laughs> Let me read that again. The letters GH are silent when the letter I is... Ah! That's the problem. In front of them. We need the word in right there. Now that's good English. Okay. The letters GH are silent when the letter I is in front of them. Simple enough, right? So here we have Psi. Psi. G-H. It's not making any sound here. We just have S-I. 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 Psi. What's Psi mean? Do you know what it means? Well, if you uh, sit down, many times someone will go, oh, because it feels so good to sit down to relax. Or maybe you said something that upset someone else and they let out a sigh like, oh, like that because they're, they think what you said was uh, stupid. Yeah, maybe that's the word. They think it's stupid. How about a baby? A baby. When the baby's rolling around, it's going to sleep and it makes a little, ah, kind of a little sigh sound, a baby sigh. Here's the word right. R-I-G-H-T. Right, right. G H is silent. R I T. Right. Okay. So what's right? Well, this is my left hand. This is my right hand. Left and right. Maybe you did the right thing by getting to work a little early this morning. Hmm. The boss would like that. Here's the word frighten. Frighten. F R I. G H silent T E N. So we have F R I fry fry T E N ten frighten frighten. We don't really make much of a sound with that T. It's more like frighten frighten. T is pretty much silent too. But the point is, G H is followed by I, and they are silent. Now, R I G H T light, please. Turn on the light. Or maybe that package you're going to bring to the post office, hmm, it's very light. It probably won't cost much for postage. G-H, silent. L, I, lie, l, I, lie. T, light, light. Change the L to an M, we have might. M I G H T M I T might. Okay, what would might be? Might. Hmm. Usually, this word is used instead of the word maybe or may. I may stop on the way home and pick up some eggs and milk. I might stop on the way home and pick up some eggs and milk. G-H is silent in the word might. This is the end of this. Hello. More on silent consonants. The fourth video of seven. W is silent in words that begin with W-R. We have the two letters, W-R, side by side, at the beginning of a word. That W is silent. 
So we're going to pronounce it with just the, the R sound. R, R, R. Now W and R are both consonants. Both consonants. The first word we're going to look at, right, right. In a previous video, we talked about the word right. I said, my left hand, my right hand. Okay, well now, this is a different spelling. The same sound, but a different spelling and a different meaning. To write. So perhaps you take a pencil or a pen and you write something on a piece of paper. You write a letter, you write a note, whatever. W-R-I-T-E. Take off the W, ruh, ruh, ite, write. Okay? Then we have ring, ring. Now, if you just hear the word ring, you might be thinking of R-I-N-G. Perhaps you have a ring on your finger. Perhaps you hear a, a telephone ringing. But this is W-R-I-N-G. It's the same sound, ring, because W is silent. But it means to, for example, if, you're, if you have a rag, a towel, and it gets wet, you could twist it and you'd wring out the water. Wring out the water. We used to have washing machines that were called ringer washing machines. They had two big rollers on top of them and you'd put the clothes through those roller rolling pins and it would wring out the excess water on the old style washing machines. Okay, we have the word wrong. Take away the W, ruh, ruh, ong. O-N-G makes the ong sound. Like I-N-G is ing. So, the word wrong. Well, you have the right way to do things, and you have the wrong way to do things, right? Maybe you got someone very angry at you because you said the wrong thing to them. You made them angry. Or maybe you took a test and you got too many of the answers wrong. They were incorrect, not right. They were wrong. W-R-A-P. Take away the W. Rap. R-A-P. R-A-P. Rap. Okay. Now, W-A-P, rap, would be like to, to pound on something quickly. You're rapping on it. You rap on it. There's also rap music. Perhaps you like the modern, new rap music. I don't. W-R-A-P. Okay? Now, to wrap, you take some paper in a box, and you wrap the box in paper. You wrapped it, right? You wrap something in newspaper. You wrap a package. Wreckage. Wreckage. Take away the W, no sound. Well, the W is still going to be there, but it's silent. Wreckage. Wreck. Okay, if somebody drives their car, boom, in, into a tree or hits another car, we might say that they wrecked their car. They wrecked it. The car, it's wreckage. Where's the wreckage after the accident is over? The wreckage, where is it? It's the damaged vehicle. Or it wouldn't have to be a car. could be buildings after a storm, that sort of thing. Wreckage. Wrist. Wrist. W. The W is silent. R. 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 I. S. T. Ist. 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 Okay. And what is a wrist? Well, this is my arm. This is my hand. This is my wrist. Where the hand and arm meet, that's called the wrist. Where your foot and leg come together, that's called ankle and ankle. This is a wrist. This is a wrist watch because it's a watch worn on my wrist. And that is the end of this. Hello. Silent consonants, we're on segment five of seven videos dedicated to silent consonants. 
In this lesson, we're talking about the silent T. Sometimes, I want to emphasize, emphasize, sometimes, sometimes, not always, sometimes, T is silent. When it comes after a S or F, sometimes, right? So that's going to make, <laughs> make the English a little more confusing for you, right? Here we have often, the word often. This word is frequently mispronounced. Many people will say often, often, often. And generally, we consider it to be pronounced correctly as a silent, with a silent T, as often, often. So off, F, N, often. Really, this one can go either way. There's, there was a period of time where it was pronounced uh, originally as often. It came back, you know, years later, it was often. And it's changed somewhat over the years, but now it's accepted as a silent T often, often. You'll hear people say often. You'll come across it. We have the word soften, soften. Oh, what does often mean? Well, it means something that happens a lot. It happens regularly. Like, perhaps you have the newspaper delivered to your home, and what happens? The delivery boy throws the paper into your bushes. You can't find it. It happens often, right? Could be often. I often have to stop on the way home from work to pick up some milk, some eggs, something like that. Often. Not every day, but often. Frequently. Soften. Okay, now you know what the word soft is, right? Soft is the opposite of hard. Maybe you have nice, soft skin. Oh, it's so nice. <clears throat> or you have a nice, soft pillow that you sleep on at night. Something that's soft. Something that's hard would be like the, the top of your table. It's hard, right? This board, it's hard. My shirt is soft. So, soften, soften. To make something softer, we need to soften it. Leather from an animal that you make shoes out of, or a belt, a jacket. That leather is very stiff as part of the process, but it has to be softened up, softened up, kind of beat up, uh, to become nice and soft, right? So, they soften it. We never say soften, soften, we don't. But if there's no E-N on the end, we're going to say soft. We make that T sound, soft. Let's look at this now. We talked about F-T, F-T. Let's look at S-T, S-T. Christmas, Christmas. We say Chris, like a man's name, Chris. And we have must, Christmas, it's a holiday for Christians, right? Christmas. The T is silent. We have the word whistle, whistle. Maybe you can whistle. Let's see if I can whistle. Hmm. I can whistle. Whistle. Perhaps you have a whistle, which would be a noun, a little metal device. You blow on it. And it makes a kind of a whistle sound, commonly used in sports. The coach will blow a whistle at a basketball game, something like that. Whistle. But we don't say whistle. Whistle? No, no, no. Not whistle. Or not whistle. Uh, another word could be thistle. Thistle. T-H. Thistle. It's a weed. A weed. A prickly, stickly weed. Thistles. An unpleasant weed to encounter. Here we go, we have fasten. Now we have S-T-E-N. If we took off, if we took off the E-N, we'd have fast. Fast. 
and we pronounce the T fast. Now we have fasten. To fasten something is like to secure it, to hold it so it can't go anywhere. Like my watch is fastened to my wrist by this little device right here, this little buckle, right? Little catch. Fasten. You may have to fasten your dog to a leash, right? Okay, fasten. Now, if you see words that end with F-T-E-N, it is likely, like we see in soften and uh, fa uh, often, it's a very good chance that the T is going to be silent. If you see a word that ends S-T-L-E, it's very likely that the T will be silent. S-T-E-N, with the E-N, it's very likely that the T will be silent. It isn't always the case. It isn't always the case. There are other words out there, like the word uh, boastful, someone who brags a lot talks about the great things they do. They boast about what they've done. Uh, we call that boastful, and it's got the ST where you can hear the T in it. So it's ST, 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 boastful, boastful. Boast less. They do not boast, boast less. Uh, how about the word mostly, mostly? Well, uh, I, I like uh, of... Of all the foods in the world, I like fried chicken the most. M-O-S-T with a T sound. Now, if we say mostly, L-Y at the end, it still has that T sound. Mostly. Justly. Justly, right? In other words, something happened that should have happened. It was the correct thing to happen. It justly happened. If we take off the L-Y, we have the word just, like... He just didn't want to go with you. Just. Just leave. You have the T sound. So, it can make a, it makes a difference. It's not a lock fast rule, but we must be aware that sometimes T is silent when it comes after a S or F. And that is the end of this. Hello. Are you ready? Silent consonants. Number six out of seven, in words that have CK, the letters CK, together, side by side, in them, the C is silent. Now, this is true in many, many words, and it's not a sometimes thing. We can say it's all the time. Can you find a word that's not true? Well, maybe you can. But this one here we consider all the time, not just sometimes. Black. Black. B-L-A-C-K. A-C-K is ack, ack. B-L, two-letter consonant blend, blah, blah, blah. Bla black. The color black. At night. The sky is black, except for the twinkle of stars, right? Black. Sack. A-C-K again. Sack. We have a silent C. A-K. 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 Sack. What is a sack? It's a bag. That's all. You can say it's a bag, you can say it's a sack. Usually if somebody's talking about a sack, they're talking about something, at least this is what I think of it as, something made out of a cloth, uh, like a burlap sack. It could be a burlap bag too, right? But normally people don't call uh, a, a paper bag that you get from a grocery store a sack. You can, it's not a bad thing. But we usually say it's a bag. In a sack, I normally think of something bigger, right? Okay. Then we have the word CL, CLA, CLA, CLA. OCK is OCK, OCK. CLOCK, CLOCK. The C is silent. 
you have the O, A, K, 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 lock, clock, clock. What's a clock? Well, it's basically my wristwatch without the watch band up on the wall, maybe sitting on your nightstand. It's a clock. You tell time with a clock. We have the word chicken, chicken. Now here we have AK, the sound AK, the sound OK. Now we have the sound IK. C-H-I-K is ick, ick. C-H-ch-ch-ch, ick, chick, chicken, chicken. I think most people like chicken. They like to eat chicken. Okay, the C is silent, so we have the I, I, the K, K, chick, ick, chicken. How about the lick? Lick. L-I-C-K. The, the C is silent, of course. L, la, 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 la. If you put a C in front, we'd have click, click, like you, uh, you, on the, on the mouse on your computer, you click, right? Maybe you click your remote control, click on the button on the website. Okay. Then you take off the C, we have lick. Well, what is lick? How about when you take your tongue and lick the ice cream on an ice cream cone? How about when a cat laps up, laps up some, some milk out of a bowl with its tongue, and then it'll sit down and it'll lick its paws and lick its legs to clean itself. It's lick, lick, or a dog will lick your hand because it likes you. Lick. Quick. Q-U sounds like quick, 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 quick. Could be quarter. Could be quiet, quick. I C K. C is silent. I K I K. Okay, we have the K sound. K K K. What is quick? Quick. It means to do something fast. You get it done fast, right? Like uh, he was very quick to call the bank and complain about the bad service he had received, right? Maybe the bank was very quick to call him and complain that, hey, you didn't pay your monthly bill. You owe us money. Quick. Something that happens fast, right? Right now. That is the end of this lesson. We're on the seventh video of seven regarding silent consonants. Here we're talking about, in words that end with M-B, the two consonants together, M and B, the B is silent, no sound. And here are some example words. Now all you have to do is just drop the sound of the B and you're going to pronounce it correctly. Here's the word comb, comb. C-O-M-B. That's it. The O sounds long. O, comb, comb. Like you have a comb and use it to comb your hair. Numb, numb. Ooh. Perhaps you've gone to the dentist and had to get some work done in your teeth. The dentist gave you something Novocaine or something like Novocaine with a needle, they give you a shot, oh, and it makes your whole mouth numb. You can't tell if your, your lips are together, apart, if you drink water, the water pours down your face. All right, N-U-M-B, B is silent, um, um, numb. It's not a long U, um, uh, uh, um, short U. Numb. How about the word crumb? C R cr cr crumb. U M with a silent B. Again, we have um like in numb, but crumb. Now, what is a crumb? Well, usually we use the word crumb to say that when someone, for example, eats a cookie. Maybe some of the little pieces of the cookie fall off and you get crumbs all over the table or 
in your lap, on your shirt, right? Crumb. That's what a crumb is. How about bread crumbs, right? People will dry a piece of bread, break it into crumbs, and stuff it inside a turkey for Thanksgiving Day to make dressing. Bread crumbs. Also, someone might say that that person is a crumb. What a crumb! Because they're a, they're a bad person. They think they're kind of a low person. They're not a nice guy or, or woman. So, oh, what a crumb. What a bad person. Here we have the word dumb. D-U-M-B. Dumb. Again, we have um, um, um. Duh, the D, duh, um. Silent B. Now, dumb, dumb. What dumb really means is someone is unable to speak. Dumb. And I'm sure in modern times now we have other words for that, some uh, politically correct, nice sounding way to say it. Also, <coughs> we have, um, oh, a mute. A mute is a, the, the correct word to use for uh, unable to speak. They're a mute. Um, dumb, okay. A person that, who is not smart. That, that guy's, he's just dumb. It's like saying he's stupid, right? What a dummy. What a dumb thing to do. Not smart thing to do. We have the word C-L-I-M-B. C-L, cluck, cluck, cluck. Now we have I-M instead of O-M, um, or O-M, and U-M, um. We have I'm. I'm. Climb. Now this sounds like if we make a contraction with the word I am, I'm, I'm hungry. Cl-I'm. That's the word. The B is silent. What does climb mean? For example, you have a ladder and you climb up the ladder to get on your roof. There are a set of steps. Stairs, a staircase, a stairway. And you go up them. You're climbing the steps. You're climbing the staircase. A squirrel might climb a tree. A monkey climbs a tree. A rope. Climb. Here's the word lamb. L-A-M-B. La, A-M, am, am, am. Like I am, but no contraction. Just Am. La 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 from the L. Lamb. The B is silent. What is a lamb? Well, do you know what a sheep is? Bah, a sheep. They have a thick coat of wool on them. They like to shear the sheep, cut all their wool off to make clothing. Okay, a baby sheep is a lamb. Ha! Huh. Did you know that? Do you know what a baby goat is? G-O-A-T? A kid. Yes, a kid. And what do a lot of Americans call their children? Kids. Hmm. What do you think about that? Okay. Lamb. That's the end of... Consonants that have more than one sound. Simple enough. We're going to talk about three consonants here. Three. The letter C the letter G, and the letter S. C can sound like K or S. So, if it sounds like K, it has a K, K, K sound. Like in K, cat, C-A-T, K. S, S, it has a S sound, S. Now, what word would have C that sounds like S? Hmm. We'll find out soon. G can sound like G or J. G is J, or uh, G, 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 J, 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 J. So think of the names uh, Gary, G A R Y. You could think of the name Jerry, J-E-R-R-Y, gotcha. S can sound like S, 
Z Z S H Sh Z H. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at each one of these letters with some example words for you. All right. Let's continue on. We're going to begin with C. Let's begin with the letter C. Remember, it can sound like K or S. K, S, K, S. Now, here's the secret. Here's the rule. C plus, or we could say, if C is followed by, if C is followed by, E, I, or the letter Y, then it sounds like S. S, S. For example, the word center, C E E, center, S, S. like the center of a table, the center of a room, in the middle of something, the center of. C I, C I, city. As an example, city, maybe you live in a big city or a small town, but city. Here we have CY, CY, cycle, cycle, as in the word bicycle, or bicycle, but here by itself it's cycle. Okay, CY, cycle. Now, when does C sound like K? C without, so this is easy to remember, all we have to do now is remember without E, I, or Y, without E, I, or Y, C sounds like K, 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 K. For example, capture, capture. Maybe there's a stray cat in your neighborhood that you would like to capture, so you could feed it, Give it a good home, something like that. To catch something, to capture it. C-A, capture, C-U. Now, it doesn't have to be C-A. It doesn't have to be C-U. It doesn't have to be C-O. Just without E, I, or Y, we get the K sound. So, example words, capture, cute, cute. Are you cute? Oh, you probably are. Cute, perhaps. Your neighbors had a new baby, and the baby is so cute. A little puppy. Oh, they're so cute. C-O. We're using O as an example. Could be a different letter, just not. E-I-Y. Cold. It's cold outside. Brr. In the winter. Cold. Chilly. Which? Uh, uh, cold is a very good example. Capture, cute, cold. All right, now. Let's move on to the next letter. Okay, now let's look at the letter G. Now for G, can sound like G or J. G, J. G plus, here's the rule, this is the part to remember. G plus E or I, the letter E or the letter I, sounds like J, J, J. Sounds like the letter J. Now, the letter J, sound like J U M P, jump, jump, J, 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 jump. But, G with E after it, like the word gentle, gentle. Uh, something that is not mean or hard on, on another thing or person, it's very gentle. Maybe your mother has very gentle ways about her. She's very gentle the way she handles the children, things like that. G-E, G-I, giant, giant. Maybe a gentle giant. A giant is a very, very large creature, right? Whether it be a human or an animal of some sort. Gentle giant. Now, are these, word, are these rules that I'm telling you about 100% Always right? No, no, no. For example, if you take the word G-I-V-E, give. Here, I'm going to give you my marker. Give. 
Well, that's good, 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 good. Not ja, 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 ja. You don't give someone something. You give them something. So the rules are not 100%, but pretty good to keep in mind. Most of the time they're right. Now, without E or I, after G, we have the way we would expect G to sound in most words, like G, G, game. You play a game, a baseball game, a card game, right? Gum, G, G, um, gum. Now, maybe you like to chew gum, chewing gum. Mm. Maybe you like to chew gum. Hmm? Mm. Num, num, num. Chew on some chewing gum. Okay, G U M. Alright, that's the letter G. Now, let's move on to the next letter. And here's our third and final letter S. Can sound like Z, Z, S H, Z H. Sure, zir. Here, let's look at the words. It's easier to grasp the sound. When it sounds like, when S sounds like Z. Now, most of the time, S sounds like S. That's normally what it sounds like. But, it can sound like. Is, z, z, is, I, S, is, uh, it is a sunny day. His, H, I, S, his. Just put H in front of IS, but his, like, that is his book. It's your brother's book. It's his book. Has. H A S. Has. She has beautiful eyes. Has. Take away the H, you have as. As a matter of fact, I love sunny days. As. Ways. How many ways can you make an apple pie? How many ways can you do whatever? How many ways? Change the W to D, you have days. One day, two days. Runs, runs. He runs very fast to catch the bus. Runs. To run, runs. SH, we have sugar, sugar, sugar. SU here, it sounds like SH, sugar. Now, sugar, what is sugar? It's that white granulated substance that you put on food to sweeten it up. Sugar cane, right? Sugar. Maybe you like to put sugar in your tea or your coffee. Maybe on your cold cereal. Sure, sure. Will you help me? Oh, sure you will. Come on, give me a hand. Sure. Or surely. I'll surely be there on time. Kind of like certain. Okay, Z-H. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Can you hear that in here? Treasure, treasure. That's kind of an oddball. Okay, but here we have our different sounds for S. So that covers the three letters that consonants, they are the consonants that have more than one sound. C, G, and our friend S. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.